डिमांड आवर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट आवर साधा विद्या मंदिर हेज मेड वन न्यू मॉडल द नेम ऑफ द मॉडल हेज बीन गिवन दैट द ऑटोमेटिक वाटर टैंक स्विच एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली द प्रोजेक्ट मेड अंडर द मेड अंडर द प्रोजेक्ट मेकिंग साधा एक्चुअली फ्यू डेज एगो आवर आवर रिस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल सर एंड आवर रिस्पेक्टेड बोर्ड लीडर सर टोल्ड आस टू मेक समथिंग न्यू सो and also you know that our uh, institutes are sadha vidya mandir always works on the environmental issue so our department also has thought about uh, to contribute something uh, towards our environment so that's why see we have made this new model uh, which is known as the uh, actually we have given the name that the water tank switch generally what happened in our home sometimes we uh, switch on the motor for lifting the water and after that we forget to switch off the water in that way what happened there that uh, some amount of water getting lost every day and also in, in other way that we are actually wasting the electricity also so to reduce the water loss and also to save electricity we have made this type of uh, one new model here the name of the model has been given that the water tanks uh, automatic water tank switch so how it works and also working principle of this model already been explained in the powerpoint presentation and this is actually based on the discipline of physics uh, so that uh, means our respected uh, monojit sir has explained all this all these things nicely in the powerpoint presentation uh, making of this model each and every member of our department contributed uh, contributed here so i also appreciate their work that each and every body has contributed contributed uh, to actually make this model so today we are going to launch this model here so after that we will be uh, showing you that the uh, how it works namaskar everyone on behalf of sharada vidya mandir science department we are going to present a project which we have made the name of the project is automatic water tank switch i feel very honored for giving me this opportunity to present this project in front of you i still believe after seeing this presentation many of us can make this by own namaskar all respected persons as we all know our project name is automatic water tank switch so let's start our presentation actually this is the basic circuit diagram of water tank which we have used in our home or even in our school in this circuit the motor has two wires one is red and one is black black wire is directly connected with the mains but the red wire connect with a switch and the switch is connected with ac supply this switch is a manual switch that means we have to operate the switch by pressing it or by pushing it as the switch is off now the circuit is not complete as because some water are present in the tank water falls through the tap due to which this water level decreases in the tank after a while water will run out so we have to press the manual switch to turn the motor on at the time we press the switch the circuit is completed and the motor starts due to this the water level increases again after some time water tank is full and most of the time we forget to switch off the motor at that moment and lots of water is wasted not only that the electricity is also wasted that is why we replace the manual switch into a auto switch this switch connect at the same place as the previous one but it consists three wires which connect at the different heights or different levels of the water tank black wire is always in touch with the water green wire is connected at the lower level and the red wire is connected 
at the higher level. In this switch circuit, we connect a LED to indicate that the switch is on or not. If the water is not in touch with the green wire, then the switch automatically turned on. Then the motor starts, due to which water level increases and when water touch the red wire, it automatically turned off. Due to this, no water falls on the water tank through the pipe and as the tap is open, the water falls from it and water again decreases and when it detaches with the green wire again, the motor starts. This is how the switch circuit works. Now we discuss the details how the circuit sends the water levels. Before that, we have to know how a normal circuit works. This circuit consists of a battery which has two ends, one is positive and one is negative. Positive is connected with bulb and the bulb is connected with the switch and switch is connected with negative terminal of the battery. As the switch is off, circuit is not complete. Due to this, bulb is off. Now when we on the switch, the circuit is completed. The current flows from positive to negative. This simple circuit can be shown this way also. See, the positive connects with the bulb and the bulb is connected with the negative. And when the current flows from positive to negative through this bulb, the bulb turned on. Let's see what are the materials are needed to make this circuit. First, we need a Vero board which has many tiny holes. This is the surface where we have made the circuit. Second, we need some connecting wires. Third, we need LED as an indicator. Fourth, we need four resistance. Two piece one mega ohm resistance and two piece one kilo ohm resistance. Resistance looks like this. Resistance actually resists the current to flow through a wire. This is the animated picture of that. Fifth, we need IC555. The pin diagram is shown here. You can see there is a cut on IC as same as a real picture. The IC has 8 legs. So, we start counting from the left hand side of the cut. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The different legs have their different jobs. Later, we discuss briefly about this topic. Sixth, we required a transistor named PC547. It has three legs. One is collector, middle one is base and the third one is emitter. Basic pin diagram of transistor is shown here. It is like a switch. When its base gets some voltage, then it on and allow the current to pass through it. Next, we required relay 12 volt and a diode 1N4007. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal of the diode. Diode is used to protect the relay. Now, what is relay? Relay is one type of conditional switch. It has five legs and the diode should be connected to pin number one and pin number two terminal as shown in the picture. Now, if 
we add a circuit with it that means the circuit is connected to the pin number 3 and pin number 5 the circuit is not complete so the bulb does not glow but when we apply 12 volt a magnetic field is generated due to which the pin number 3 will connect to the pin number 5 and now the circuit is complete so the bulb will glow let's see the main circuit diagram of switch circuit that means our main circuit diagram for this project it has IC555 4 resistance 1 relay with diode 1 transistor BC547 1 LED as an indicator and 12 volt power supply positive is connected at this point and negative is connected at this point before discussing this we have to know what is the working process of IC555 this is the pin diagram of IC555 pin 1 is connected with negative terminal of the battery and pin number 8 is connected with the positive terminal of the battery pin number 2 and pin number 6 are the input and pin number 3 is the output pin 4 is the reset pin so it should be connected with the positive terminal of the battery same as pin number 8 IC means integrated circuit so it has a circuit inside it this circuit consists of 3 5 ohm resistance IC555 name came from this resistance it has two comparator this triangular shape indicate that and it has a SR flip-flop we can see 2 and 6 are like input and 3 is like output pin number 8 is positive and pin number 1 is connected with negative and 4 is reset 5 and 7 number pin are not used here now what is comparator it has three legs V1 and V2 are the input and the other one is output when the voltage in V1 is greater than V2 it is on or pass some voltage at the output end which can be shown by the number 1 1 is the digital signal and when V1 is less than V2, the output is low, means no current pass through it. Now what is SR flip-flop? SR flip-flop has also three legs. One is R, one is S and the other one is output. This output is the main output of IC also. If R get zero voltage, and S have some voltage indicating with number 1 the output is high that means 1 1 basically indicates that high voltage present in output so when R is equals to 1 and S equals to 0 output is 0 that is low and if R and S both are zero output is same as previous let's see for the total IC what will happen the circuit is such that the V2 
of comparator 1 is always get 8 volt and V1 of comparator 2 is always get 4 volt. Now when pin 6 has 0 volt then V1 obviously less than V2. That means output of the comparator is 0. That is R equals to 0. Similarly, if pin number 2 is 0, that means V1 is greater than V2 here. So the comparator output is 1. That is, S is 1. From the table, we can say that R is equal to 0 and S is equal to 1. So the output should be 1. That means the output is on. If pin number 6 is equal to 1, here 1 means 12 volt. So V1 is obviously greater than V2. So R is equal to 1. And if pin 2 is 1, that means V1 less than V2. So that S is equal to 0, due to which output should be 0 or off. Now if we connect pin number 2 and pin number 6 with a water tank which has some water with 12 volt present in it. That means if wire connect with water it receives a signal 1 and if not then it receives 0. Now if water is below the green wire that means pin number 2 received 0 and pin number 6 is also 0. For that R is equal to 0 and S is equal to 1. From the table we can say that output should be 1. Let's move to the final circuit. If water is below the green wire then pin 2 is equal to 0 and pin 6 is equal to 0. If both input is 0, output from pin number 3 is 1. Now this voltage divided into two directions. One complete the circuit through LED and LED turned on. And the other one go to the base of the transistor BC547. Now the transistor allow current to pass through it, due to which relay get 12 volt and the relay is on. Now the circuit of the motor is completed. So the current flow through this circuit and makes the motor on due to which water in the tank increases and it touch with the green wire. Now the pin 2 is 1 and pin 6 is 0. Let's see what will happen if pin 2 is 1 and pin 6 is 0. From previous observation, we can say that R is equal to 0 and S is equal to 0. If R is equal to 0 and S is equal to 0, from the table, we can say that output is same as previous. In this, it remain on because previous action was on. From this we have learned if 2 is equal to 1 and 6 is equal to 0 then output will be same as previous. Let's see the final circuit. If pin 2 is equal to 1 and pin 6 is equal to 0 what will happen? We can say that the output remains same in that case. That means motor remains on. Now if water tank is full, that means water touch the red wire also. So pin number 2 and pin number 6 get signal 1. That is R is equal to 1 and S is equal to 0. From table we can say that output is off. From the observation we have learned that if pin number 2 and pin number 6 both are in touch with water output should be off. Let's move to the final circuit. Now if zero signal go to the LED, 
it will off and the transistor is also off so no current pass through it due to which relay is off for this reason the motor circuit will break and the motor shut down no water is wasted due to use of water the water again decreases and now what will happen pin number 2 get one signal and pin number 6 get zero so output will be same that means off so the motor will be remainingly off so the motor should be off and when the water goes down further and get detached with the green wire pin 2 and pin 6 again get zero signal from previous observation we can say that pin number 3 is 1 that means the output should be 1 and the motor start again this is how it works when both pin touch with the water motor will shut down and when the both pin detach with water motor will start again now if we switch on this motor it will lift water let me switch uh, switch on this motor yes it's lifting water and this is the main tank which will be filled here and this main tank when it will be filled automatically see as the main switch is on here so if we don't switch up the main switch then also the motor will automatically get off so in this way we can what we can do we can reduce the uh, uh, means um, water uh, loss as well as as well as the we can save some electricity also let's wait for it see when the tank will be filled automatically the motor will be switched off switched on so see then if we forget uh, to switch up the main uh, main switch also the motor automatically will, will uh, be off and then it will reduce the um, means loss of water as well as the it will save some electricity also in this way we can contribute towards our environment so we have we hope that we have made a new model here uh, new model here and i think uh, if we can implement these things in our home also, then we can uh, save some water and save some electricity also. That's all. Thank you everyone.